another little uh, tidbit of a, maybe a funeral story that, that turned out right. Walter Williams, 78 years old. Down, she's dead. 
bed and the muscles are contracting and, and it's making a noise between the plastic on the mattress and the sheet. The rigor mortis is taking place. So I turned to the woman and I said to her, I've already called the funeral home. Don't make me look bad. They said you're dead. You're dead. I said to the devil,
started to speak. Two things. One, Jesus showed compassion. Compassion seems to be something that is dying or dead in many of our congregations. Maybe we have, like the widow of Nain, taken compassion out and buried it somewhere. But Jesus had compassion. Let me take you to text that talks about God's compassion. Then I'll uh, bring you to one other thing and then we we'll close. Amen? Amen. One of year of resigning. Amen. Maybe it is. Can't say amen because you're not awake. Psalm 145. Psalm 145. It's good to you. Have you even? 
even ever come to a, a point in your life where you don't even want to pray anymore. Oh, maybe some of you have never reached that point. But I've seen that point in my life where I don't even want to pray anymore. I feel that everything that is religious in me is, is dead. But Jesus is, is, is giving hope and he's saying, weep not. He's saying to you that even though what you may think is dead, is not dead. Because he has the power to resurrect it. Oh, it says that when Jesus spoke to the young man, he was specific in speaking to the young man. Because again, just as he called Lazarus by name, if he had not been specific in talking to that young man alone, there would be dead young men jumping up, hopping up like popcorn all over that area. Because they were in and about the area of the cemetery. Trust me, I believe there were other young men that were around. But one of the commentators says when he was talking to that young man, he was specific in talking to him. He didn't call his name, but, but what he said was emphatic and emphatic enough that death knew that he was talking to that young boy specifically. So that all of them just didn't pop up. said to him, young man, I say unto you, arise. Immediately, the young boy arose and started to talk.
having family dinners have also seen its death because of conflicting schedules. And the family table was the place where we used to find out about each other. What's going on in our day? What's, what's happening with everybody in the family? Family worship, I mean family uh, uh, dinners were, 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 were the times when, 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 when we would connect and interact with each other. But now, communication has been relegated to me in this room and you in that room. And if I need to speak to you, I will text you in the same house.
many times we've spent too much time talking about things that really don't mean anything. While we're supposed to be preparing for the heavenly world. Somebody here today feels that there is something in their life spiritually that is dead. And you want to say to me, as I'm here standing here and I'm the first one here, you want to say, Pastor, can we pray together that, that God will resurrect whatever spiritual death is in my life? Is there such an individual? Yes. Just join me up front. Then the other appeal is this. There are some things that's in my life that really need to be put to death. We really need to put that in that casket and take it out and bury it. Something that I don't want resurrected in my life, Lord. Not at all. So the appeal is twofold. For something that you want to get resurrected spiritually in your life and something that you really want to have dead and buried in your life. It may be cursing. Some of us have a problem with our tongues. It's too quick <laughs> not to say a blessing, but to pronounce a curse. Some of us wrestle with anger. And we get angry at the drop of a head. Some of us are still wrestling with robbing God. So I came across a, a saying just recently, a terminology that says that there are many Christians who are financial atheists. Many Christians who are financial atheists. We believe in God.
Some of us are not praying as we ought to, and so our prayer lives need to be resurrected. Some of us, Lord Jesus, are, 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 don't have the faith that we need to have. And, and so uh, our faith needs to be resurrected. Yes. Lord Jesus, some of us are, are hiding our talents. And, uh, we're not using them to the, 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 the grace of God and to promulgate the gospel and, and that needs to be resurrected. Some of us, Lord Jesus, uh, have anger and that needs to die yes. and repent it, never to be resurrected. Well, yes. Some of us have lying and stealing still working through our veins and that needs to die so that you can resurrect in us, Lord Jesus, truth. Some of us don't have the compassion that we need to have. Yeah. We might say, as we see individuals go by, serve them right. Yeah. But we don't realize that had it not been for your grace, Lord Jesus, we would be in the same situation or even worse. Yes. So, Lord Jesus, many of us need to have compassion resurrected. Some of us are users and abusers, Lord Jesus, and we need to get that dead in our lives and, and resurrect you, the compassionate you in our lives. These individuals who are standing around, Lord Jesus, I don't know what needs to be resurrected in their lives, Lord, but you know. Yes. So resurrect in our lives, Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit afresh, yes. so that we can put the devil who sometimes reign in our lives to death, never to be resurrected again. Thank you for reminding us that you are the resurrection of the life. That young man, Lord Jesus, who you resurrected, he had to die again. But gracious God, we know that when you resurrect, Lord, when you resurrect, you will resurrect in us fresh, the Holy Spirit, but the resurrection needs to be something that we crave for every day. Amen. So that we pray for a resurrected life you know, on a daily basis, so that whatever it is that we need to save us, and, you know, for Lord Jesus, nothing else in this world matters. Nothing else. Thus we get to spend eternity with you. Our cars don't matter. Our clothes don't matter. Our children, our spouses don't matter. Where we went to school don't matter. How much money we have don't matter. How many degrees we have don't matter. How tall we are, how short we are, how pretty we are, how ugly we are, doesn't matter. If we don't get to spend eternity with you, then it will be all for us. Resurrect, Lord Jesus, in us again the passion that we had for you, the first love that we had for you. As that young man who was resurrected started talking, I am sure that he started to talk about life. May in our lives we be resurrected so that we can talk about the resurrection and the life. Father, hear us. Be there to our Lord Jesus. Please, please, Lord. Hover over us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
for another 10 on that? 20%? Oh no, I don't believe my God is able to, to, to let me live on 80%. No, sir. No, sir. There's not a God that is big enough to do that. And yes, it is. Some of you are saying, what happened to Pastor Joe Austin's churches? Why I don't throw in any money? Oh, many of you don't know what I'm talking about. Just this past week, there was a robbery at Pastor Joe Austin's church and $600,000 were taken. I didn't say $60,000. I said $600,000. Jesus, nothing else in this world. Matters. 
spend eternity with you. Our cars don't matter. Our clothes don't matter. Our children and our spouses don't matter. Where we went to school don't matter. How much money we have don't matter. How many degrees we have don't matter. How tall we are, how short we are, how pretty we are, how ugly we are, doesn't matter. If we don't get to spend eternity with you, then it will be all for us. Resurrect Lord Jesus in us again the passion that we had for you, the first love that we had for you. As that young man who was resurrected started talking, I am sure that he started to talk about life. May in our lives we be resurrected so that we can talk about the resurrection and the life. Father, hear us. Give ear 